Sophia from 90.3 The Core. Today I'm sitting down with the lovely trio Half Alive here at Firefly Music Festival. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Hello, I'm Jay Tyler. Hello, I'm Brett. Hello, I'm Josh Taylor. Do you guys want to reintroduce yourselves with your correct <laughs> names? <laughs> uh, well done, well done. Uh, you know who we are then. All right, I am actually Brett. <laughs> no, I'm Josh. Hey, I'm Jay Tyler. I'm Brett Kramer. Right. So you guys just released your Runaway music video and the song that you guys were playing on your North American tour earlier this year. Can you tell us a little bit about touring and how that was and just being on the road, I guess, for the first time? Yeah, that was wild. I feel like we jumped headfirst into the craziest tour that we could have, especially because of the weather being it being like the polar vortex that we went through. Um, completely unprepared for that. Actually, Brett was really prepared for that. I was extremely prepared. <laughs> um, so I had never really been to like the East Coast or whatever. So I bought just the like craziest winter gear and everybody was telling me like you're never gonna need this it doesn't get that cold and when we were in the polar vortex at negative 30 I was so prepared and everybody it proved everybody wrong that told me I didn't need all that crazy gear okay, so back on runaway a lot of fans <laughs> want to know <laughs> a lot of fans want to know the concept of the video and how you like created that and thought about I guess like how you wanted to ex execute that visually yeah um, I think coming out of like doing Still Feel music video and then Arrow, uh, Still Feel was obviously very dance heavy and then Arrow was mostly f about the aesthetics and trying to create something just very beautiful and every scene is like a painting in such a way. But then uh, Runaway wanted to do something just that we've never done which is very story based um, that still has dance connected in, in it but I think that was the start of it um, and then figured that we would keep going back in time. Uh, and doing something in the 60s and 40s. And, that, and then the imagination just kind of took over and created the whole story from there. So if you want to know also the character that you guys like created Francis as like who goes off to war, if he'll like be returning any future music videos. Oh. To be determined. <laughs> yeah, TBD on that. Um, yeah, I just figured it would be more realistic to have the character have like have a name and a place and um <laughs> we're uh, for our album it's called now not yet and francis is in this world that we're creating within the album so we're creating this space and place and the album will make a little bit more sense once it's out within all of that but thinking a little bit towards this like greater vision that's slowly unraveling and he's a part of that so your album's coming out later in August. Um, would you say it's a concept album since you are like, creating a story around it, or would you say it's just songs you all wrote together that you really enjoy? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's a, a concept album. I think it, it has a like a storyline that goes with it, but I, I don't think it's... Yeah, I think the, the songs themselves just speak into the character of Half-Alive, um, being this like in-between of life and death and, and good and evil and... Um, what it means to have the human experience and trying to speak hope into that. Um, but I, I don't think that it would be necessarily a, a concept album. I think it's just good songs, having a good time. Okay, so we're at Firefly. There's a lot of artists playing today. Is there anyone you're excited to see or just like excited to be at the same festival with today? Um, I'm excited to see uh, Alec Benjamin. Yeah, we saw a, a few artists yesterday that was fun. Um, Tyler, the creator, was somebody that we've always looked up to. So watching his set was was, was fun for sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tank and the Bangas are playing today. Oh, That's yeah. going to be fun. So on the line of artists, are there any artists that like really inspired you to get into music or just inspire your songwriting? I think we all have different um, things we bring to the table. Um, for me, I'm very inspired by, I think, like, Sufjan Stevens and Bob Dylan type side of things. Yeah. What do you tell Yeah. 
<laughs> um, agreed with that. I, I like a lot of like, um, I feel like it's been changing. The more we've been writing and working on this album, I feel like my particular tastes and interests are slowly adapting as well. I think I've given as much as I have. I really like a lot of R&B music, but I feel like I've almost given as much as I have in that certain thing. So I think for the next things, I think it's shifting a little bit. So I think right now it's a bit of a weird in-between place for me. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how to answer the question currently. Yeah. yeah. I think right now I'm just interested in bands that have a high production value at their shows that are doing something beyond the music. Um, yeah, I think that's always really fun to like connect through either their music videos or their social posts or the uh, live show or anything. Anything more than that, I think, is, is, uh, goes the extra mile, and I think fans are noticing that more than ever now. So on the lines of socials, what is with your use of like symbols and a lot of like your album titles or like when you announce things, you use a lot of like dots, slashes. Is there like a social story behind that? <laughs> I like to just well I mean the dot is because it's h dot a so that that fits in just you know within the brand but r other than that I just like to make things that look cool and so if like a, if it looks better like lowercase then I'm like oh well it looks better like that or if like awaken that has two a's because it looks cool like that um, or just creating spaces or using symbols wherever we can we do have like a set of symbols that we are using um, but yeah, intentionally. But I feel like a lot of the stuff is just, it looks a little more interesting that way. <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys are going on another tour very soon. Are there any cities that aren't on that tour that you'd love to visit someday or like play at? I have never been to Ireland before, and we're going there. I hope we get to spend a little time exploring. The question was, where have we not gone that we are going on tour or still haven't been to? Okay. Yeah, I think we're, we're going to Australia and New Zealand in August, and I'm very excited. I've never been to either of those places, so yeah, stoked to see what that experience is like. I think like South America, Mexico would be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, also on the lines of touring, so I feel like it's a very tiring process being on like a tour bus going around. Are there any things that you miss from being in Long Beach that like when you come back from touring that like you have to do or like you really like? Uh, I think being by the ocean is like really relaxing and just having that like huge expanse of, of, of space and water. And so sometimes when we're like really just around land, I just mish. mish? I miss being by the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I think the the feeling settled and able to see family a little bit more regularly and just kind of having that as well as like when you look out of the ocean, of course, it's just like it's very peaceful because there's something about you just don't know how long it keeps going for. And there's a lot to be said about the ocean for sure. Um, so, yeah, I think those two things, just the, the relaxing part of being with family, I think is really missed and also we fight for that a lot with uh, our tour life to even next or like a couple weeks from now we're, we like are taking a week off and shutting everything off and just giving us space so I think that's really important for our tour life too to tell everybody that w we work with like hey we need space please don't talk to us for a little bit so we can be healthy with you yeah I think the thing I miss most is just um, being able to kind of like have my own schedule and uh, push into my community who kind of really was a big part of my life before the band. So being able to kind of like wake up and write, um, spend time with my wife and support my local coffee shops and kind of see, um, see my friends and other people who are doing really cool things as well um, that live really close. So that's what I miss most on tour. So back on the album, when you guys are like songwriting together, collaborating, can you describe that process? And if you guys go through any like obstacles how do you like overcome them when you have like writer's block for writing on this particular album particular it was our only album we uh we decided that it was it wasn't as productive to like go to one of our houses and write and leave at the end of the day so we ended up renting airbnbs in different locations that we wanted to go to 
So we like chose a spot in the mountains and then chose a spot in the desert and, the, and then by the ocean. By the ocean ish. Um, and just like spent a week in each of those places and just had like secluded ourselves to just write. I feel like that was the most helpful thing as far as like writing goes. I think we got the most work done in that. Yeah, and surprisingly, the uh, each location inspired different songs, which is cool. I think we wrote slower songs in the cold, and we wrote faster songs in the heat. So that's interesting just to see, like, spaces do really inspire different ways to write songs. Yeah, and it's really fun. We typically, like, bring so a set of instruments or that kind of are inspiring us at the time, and we all kind of just jump, jump in and see what kind of sounds and things that inspire songs. And the different locations it was also kind of fun to like work when we were working on lyrics like when we were in the desert we were working on when we were working on lyrics we were able to like go outside and like look at the like sunset and just be like okay take a break come back but then when we were in the mountains it was snowing so hard so we were just like in this room like trying to figure out <laughs> like lyrics for the song so it's it's different settings and it definitely inspires uh the process for sure Cool. Okay, we're going to do a little rapid fire round just about yourselves. So, everyone name their favorite movie. Uh, this one just came to my head Memento. Wow. It has been a, a, the uh, eternal sunshine for the spotless mind. What's my favorite movie? The only movie that I'm thinking, the only movie that's coming in my head is Chinatown right now. But that's not my favorite movie. That's just like, that's just a, yeah, that's just a movie. That's just a movie. All right, well, um, let me just let me uh, hold. On. Let me get this. How much time? Yeah, how much time do we have? Yeah, how much time do we have? How much time do we have for this rapid fire? Yeah. Oh yeah, rapid fire. Oh yeah. I guess that's what the rapid fire. Is. Yeah. That's, that's. Okay. So this is artists you want to collaborate with. Chance. Uh, Rex Orange County. Christina and the Queens. Yeah, those are all really good picks. Um, a song that you can't help but dance to. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh man. Um, I you don't have to sing it too. I don't know if I. <laughs> and you have to dance to it. Come up with a dance. Oh, that's a good question. Rapid fire, Jay. I know. On. I don't. Honestly, this is like one of the songs that disappeared from my head. Um, Just say a song. Um, any of the On the Hobbits songs. There you go. Uh, what is that now? Uh, <laughs> Ever. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Uh, uh, what's that Emily King song? Uh, the, uh, that's good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's good. Let's just say Emily King songs. <laughs> I just said an artist name. Distance. Yeah, distance. Yeah, distance. Come on. Okay. Next one is favorite meal or food. Cereal. That's definitely not my favorite. <laughs> That's not my favorite. Um, Just chose it. So I love Indian food and I love samosas from Indian food. What's your favorite? Thai curry. Thai curry. All right, and the last one is if you guys were not musicians, what would your dream job be? Uh, I'd like to build things. I think it'd be cool to build stuff. Just things and stuff. Yeah, mine's very similar. I was talking about being an architect recently, so I think really? that would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd be a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Not a joke. <laughs> Is there like a story behind that pic? Kinda. Um, I used to teach drum lessons, and I just enjoyed being like one on one with students, and I guess or just people in general, and I always thought that like if I didn't do music, that might be another setting in which that could be helpful. 
Okay, thank you so much for sitting down with us. Is there anything else you want to tell our listeners about yourselves, about what's coming up with you guys? Have a great time doing what you do today. If you're listening to this, just know that you can always be excited for our album that's coming out. It's going to be awesome. (laughs) We're super proud of this album. It's going to be amazing. That's all. Okay, thank you guys so much.